Welcome to a special video about one of the most fearsome symbols in the sky, the AC-130 gunship, also known as the Angel of Death of the U.S. Air Force. But did you know that the giant 105mm gun on this aircraft may soon disappear? So what is happening to the 105mm gun? And why is the U.S. Air Force considering it? Find out in today's video. Part 1. History from Vietnam to Iraq Starting its journey in the Vietnam War, the AC-130 was developed from the C-130 Hercules transport aircraft to replace the AC-47 Spooky with the ability to provide precision firepower from the air. In 1967, the AC-130 was first deployed in Vietnam and quickly became the nightmare of the North Vietnamese Army supply lines on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. With guns such as the 40mm Bofors and especially the 105mm Howitzer, the AC-130 demonstrated its terrible destructive power. AC-130S reportedly destroyed more than 10,000 trucks and participated in many crucial close air support missions in Vietnam. Point six AC-130S and 52 air crew members were lost during the war. Part 2. Unique Design the most prominent feature of the AC-130 is its horizontal firing ability when all weapons are arranged on the left side of the aircraft. This configuration allows the aircraft to fly around the target, maintaining continuous and accurate fire on a single point. The aircraft is equipped with a variety of weapons. High-velocity GAU, 12 equalizer, 25mm Gatling gun, L-60 Bofors 40mm automatic cannon specialized for air and ground targets. And most notably, the 105mm Howitzer, a monster on the battlefield capable of firing up to 10 rounds per minute, destroying targets at a distance of up to 7 miles. With these weapons, the AC-130 has become a powerful destructive machine, supporting not only ground support missions, but also participating in strategic attacks in Iraq and Afghanistan. Part 3. Big Change There is a big change coming. The U.S. Air Force is considering removing the 105mm cannon from the AC-130J Ghost Rider version by 2026. Why is this decision being made? After the end of the war in Afghanistan, the U.S. is shifting its focus to potential opponents like China, where the presence of modern air defense systems makes the AC-130's long-term flight dangerous. Future wars will require more precise and long-range attack capabilities. Removing the 105mm gun will not be simple. Cutting such a huge gun will cause an imbalance in the center of gravity and affect the aircraft structure. Repairing the holes caused by removing the gun will cost millions of dollars. Part 4. Replacement and New Upgrades Instead of relying on the 105mm gun, the U.S. Air Force is planning to upgrade the AC-130J with long-range attack systems such as Mini Cruise Missiles, capable of attacking targets from a distance accurately, minimizing risks to the crew. ASA Radar, an advanced radar system that detects and tracks targets quickly against jamming devices. Flexible Mission Network Package, enhances real-time connectivity with other forces and assets, providing rapid and effective intelligence. Future Perspective The removal of the 105mm gun will certainly change the way the AC-130 performs its close air support mission. However, it also opens up new capabilities, making the aircraft more effective in modern warfare environments, where the threat from air defense systems is very high. Despite mixed opinions, it is clear that the U.S. Air Force is looking to the future, preparing for more complex war scenarios, with opponents possessing modern air defense technology. The AC-130 gunship, the symbol of aerial firepower, is on a journey of reshaping to adapt to new challenges. Although the 105mm gun may be gone, the power and influence of the Angel of Death will still exist in future battlefields, with more modern equipment and more flexible tactics.
Vehicles too. 